Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. In this video, we will learn about the clipper circuit. The clipper circuit prevents the output waveform from exceeding the certain level. And at the same time, for the AC signal, it does not distort the remaining part of the waveform. And very shortly, it will get clear to you. So these clipper circuits are used in the over voltage protection and the wave shaping circuits. And these circuits can be designed just by using the diode and the resistors. So the simplest form of clipper circuit is the half wave rectifier, which can be designed just by using the diode and the resistor. And as you are aware, whenever the AC signal is applied to the half wave rectifier, then it passes the positive half cycle and rejects the negative half cycle. And just by reversing the direction of the diode, it is possible to pass the negative half cycle and reject the positive half cycle. So depending on the which portion of the waveform is clipped, the clipper circuit can be classified as either a positive clipper circuit or negative clipper circuit. And further, depending on the position of the diode, it can be further classified as either a series clipper or the parallel clipper circuit. So in case of the series clipper circuit, the diode is connected in series with this load register. While in case of the parallel clipper circuit, the output is measured directly across this diode. Or in other words, the load is connected in parallel with this diode. So one by one, we will see all the different types of clipper circuits and we will also solve some examples. But first of all, let us see the parallel clipper circuit. So this is the example of the parallel clipper circuit. So let us analyze the circuit and let us see how the output waveform will look like. And for the simplicity, throughout the analysis, we will assume that the diode which is used is the ideal diode. So now during the positive half cycle, this diode will get turned on or we can say that it will simply act as a short circuit. So during the positive half cycle, the output of the circuit will be equal to zero. And during the negative half cycle, this diode will act as a reverse bias. So simply it will act as a open circuit. So during this negative half cycle, the output will follow the input voltage. So if you see the overall output of the circuit, then it will look like this. That means considering the ideal diode, it eliminates the positive half cycle and it allows the negative half cycle. So basically we can say that it is the positive clipper circuit. And similarly, just by reversing the direction of the diode, it is possible to design the negative clipper circuit. So during the positive half cycle, this diode will act as an open circuit and the output will follow the input signal. And during the negative half cycle, this diode will get turned on. So simply it will act as a short circuit and during the negative half cycle, the output of the circuit will be equal to zero. Now here, if this diode is non-ideal, in that case, the actual waveform will look like this. That means whenever the input voltage goes below this minus 0.7 volt, then this diode will get turned on and the voltage across this diode will be equal to 0.7 volt. So if you measure from this side, then it will be equal to minus 0.7 volt. So in the actual diode, the output waveform will look like this. Now many times in the circuit, it is required to clip the particular waveform at the certain voltage level. And for that, we can also add the biasing voltage in series with this diode. So this circuit is the example of a clipper circuit with a biasing voltage. So let us analyze this circuit and let us see the output waveform. So first of all, let us draw a reference line which represents the V volt. Now this diode will get turned on whenever the input voltage V in is greater than 5 volt. So whenever the input voltage is less than 5 volt, that means during this time, this diode will act as a open circuit. And during this time, the output will follow the input voltage. That means during this time, the output will look like this. Now after that, whenever this input voltage is greater than V volt, then this diode will get turned on and it will simply act as a short circuit. So during this time, 
the output voltage will be equal to V volt. And then after, once again whenever the input voltage goes below this reference voltage, then once again this diode will act as a open circuit. So during this entire time, the output will follow the input voltage. And if you see the overall output voltage, then it will look like this. Now here, if this diode is non-ideal, in that case, the actual waveform will look like this. That means this diode will conduct whenever the input voltage is greater than V plus 0.7 volt. And now the waveform will get clipped at V plus 0.7 volt. So this circuit which we have discussed is the clipper circuit with a positive biasing voltage. And similarly, we can also design a clipper circuit with a negative biasing voltage such that it can clip the negative half cycle at the certain voltage level. So in this circuit, the diode will conduct whenever the input voltage is less than minus V volt. That means up to this point, the diode will act as a open circuit. And during this time, the output will follow the input voltage. And once the input voltage goes below this minus V volt, then this diode starts conducting and simply it will act as a short circuit. So during this time, the output will be equal to minus V volt. And then after, once again, this diode will act as a open circuit. So then after, the output will follow the input signal. So if you see the overall output waveform, then it will look like this. So in this way, by using the negative biasing voltage, it is also possible to clip the negative half cycle at the certain voltage. And similarly, it is also possible to design a clipper circuit which can clip the positive and the negative half cycles together at the different voltage levels. So as you can see in this circuit, the diode D1 is biased with voltage V1 and diode D2 is biased with voltage V2. So this diode D1 will clip the positive half cycle and this diode D2 will clip the negative half cycle. So first of all, let us mark this voltage V1 and V2 on this input waveform. So now, this diode D1 will conduct whenever the input voltage V in is greater than V1 volt. And similarly, this diode D2 will conduct whenever the input voltage is less than minus V2 volt. So initially, whenever the input voltage is less than this V1 volt, that means during this time, both diodes will get reverse biased and they will act as a open circuit. So during this time, the output will follow the input waveform. Now once this input voltage V in is greater than V1 volt, that means during this time, this diode D1 will get forward bias and this diode D2 will remain reverse bias. So this diode D1 can be replaced as a short circuit and this diode D2 will act as a open circuit. So during this time, the output will be equal to V1 volt. And after that, whenever the input voltage is between the V1 and minus V2 volt, that means during this time, both diodes will act as a open circuit. So during this time, once again, the output will follow the input signal. So during this time, the output will look like this. And after that, whenever the input voltage goes below this minus V2 volt, that means during this time, this diode D1 will still remain reverse bias, but now this diode D2 will get forward bias. So we can replace this diode D1 as an open circuit and this diode D2 as a short circuit. So during this time, the output voltage V out will be equal to minus V2. And after that, whenever the input voltage becomes greater than minus V2 volt, that means during this time, both diodes once again will act as a open circuit and during this time the output will once again follow the input signal. So during this time we will get this kind of waveform. So if you see the overall output waveform then it will look like this. So in this way by applying the two different biasing voltages it is possible to clip the positive and the negative half cycles at the different voltage levels. Now instead of using the two biasing voltages the same waveform can also be achieved by using the back-to-back -back Zener diodes. So here, the Zener voltages of this diode D1 and D2 are 
V1 and V2 respectively. And using this circuit, it is possible to achieve this same waveform. So in this way, parallel clipper circuits can be used for the wave shaping and the circuit protection. So similarly, now let us see the series clipper circuit. So as I said earlier, the half wave rectifier is the simplest form of series clipper circuit. And considering the ideal diode, the circuit passes only the positive half cycle and it rejects the negative half cycle. And if we consider the actual diode, then this diode will conduct whenever the input voltage V in is greater than 0.7 volt. And in that case, the output waveform will look like this. And in this case, the peak amplitude of the output waveform will be equal to Vm minus 0.7 volt. And likewise, by reversing the direction of the diode, it is possible to eliminate the positive half cycle and pass the negative half cycle. Now, similar to the parallel clipper circuit, it is possible to add the biasing voltage in series with this clipper circuit. So, let us analyze this circuit and let us see the output waveform. So, here this diode will conduct whenever the input voltage V in minus V volt is greater than 0. Or in other words, we can say that whenever the input voltage V in is greater than V volt. So, for the analysis, let us draw a reference voltage over here. So, whenever the input voltage V in is less than V volt, that means during this time, this diode will act as a reverse bias and it will simply act as an open circuit. So, during this time, the output voltage V out will be equal to 0. That means whenever the input voltage is less than V volt, then during that time, the output will be equal to 0. Now, whenever the input voltage goes above this V volt, then this diode starts conducting and at that time the output voltage across the load resistor will be equal to V in minus V volt. So during this time if you see the output waveform then it will look like this and the peak amplitude of the signal will be equal to V a minus V volt. And similarly for the negative half cycle this diode will still remain the reverse bias. So for the negative half cycle also the output voltage V out will be equal to 0. So if you see the overall output waveform, then it will look like this. That means this diode will conduct whenever the input voltage V in is greater than V volt. And for the remaining time, it will remain off. So in this way, by using the biasing voltage with the series clipper circuit, we can change the on time or the on duration of the output waveform. All right. So now let's see few examples based on this clipper circuit. So in this first example, we have been given this clipper circuit and we have been asked to find the output waveform across this resistor. And here the Zener diode which is used is the ideal diode with the breakdown voltage of 5 volt. So to find the output voltage, let us analyze this circuit. So as you can see, whenever the input voltage V in is less than 5 volt, then during that time, this Zener diode will act as an open circuit. So during this time, if you see the output voltage across this resistor, then it will be equal to 0. That means during this time, if you see the output voltage across this resistor, then it will be equal to 0. Now after that, whenever the input voltage crosses the 5 volt, then this Zener diode provides the 5 volt. So during this time, the output voltage V out will be equal to V in minus 5 volt. So during this time, whenever the input voltage is greater than 5 volt, the output waveform will look like this. And once again, whenever the input voltage goes below this 5 volt, then once again, this inner diode will act as an open circuit. So during this time, the output waveform will be equal to 0. Now during the negative half cycle, that means whenever the VIN is less than 0, this diode simply will act as a normal diode. And considering it is an ideal diode, we can replace it by a short circuit. So during the negative half cycle, output voltage will follow the input signal. So if you see the overall output waveform, then it will look like this. That means during the positive half cycle, this inner diode will conduct whenever the input voltage is greater than 5 volt. And during the negative half cycle, 
simply it will act as a short circuit so for the given circuit we will get this kind of waveform all right so now let's see the second example so in this example we have been given this clipper circuit and the triangular wave is applied to this clipper circuit and we have been asked to find the output waveform so let us analyze this circuit and let us find out the output waveform now in this circuit this diode will conduct whenever the voltage at the cathode or in other words whenever the input voltage is less than 5 volt so whenever the input voltage is less than 5 volt that means during this time the diode will get forward bias and simply we can replace it by a short circuit so during this time the output voltage v out will be equal to 5 volt now after that once the input voltage crosses this 5 volt then this diode will be get reverse bias and we can replace it by a open circuit so during this time the output will follow the input signal that means during this time the output waveform will look like this and after that once again whenever the input voltage goes below this 5 volt then this diode will get forward bias and simply it will act as a short circuit so after that we will get a constant voltage of 5 volt across the output so if you see the overall output voltage then it will look like this so in this way we can analyze the given clipper circuit and we can find out the output waveform and the more examples we will see in the upcoming quiz so i hope in this video you understood what is clipper circuit and how this clipper circuit can be used for the wave shaping and the circuit protection so if you have any question or suggestion do let me know here in the comment section if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos